ARK Invest has $658 million in 3D printing stocks, including $654 million in the five stocks I'll be highlighting in this video. The theme is a $490 billion market that is just starting to realize its full potential. In this video, I'll show you that research into the 3D printing revolution, show you how to find the stocks in this theme, then reveal my five favorite stocks to buy right now. We're talking 3D printing stocks today on Let's Talk Money. Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with the Let's Talk Money channel. I want to send a special shout out to all you out there in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Nation, 3D printing seems to finally be coming a large scale commercial reality with an addressable market over $490 billion in nearly every industry from semiconductors to aerospace and footwear. That data is from the ARK Invest Big Ideas Report, a 112 page research report from Kathy Wood and the team over at ARK Funds on the 15 life-changing trends they're following. So over the next few months, I'm digging deep into these 15 disruptive trends, show you that research, help you analyze it, and then reveal the top stocks to buy in each one. I'll be putting these videos into a special playlist on the channel called ARK Invest Stocks to Buy. Make sure you join the community so you don't miss any of these videos because these are gonna be the stocks that you wanna be in over the next decade. Now, to be honest, reading the section on 3D printing felt a little like deja vu because this isn't the first time that the technology has supposedly been on the cusp of changing our lives. One look at the share price of 3D systems, ticker DDD, and you see it's been on a hyper growth mode several times over the past three decades. ARK has been tracking the industry from its infancy, from the $12.5 billion market for prototypes in the 80s, through molds and tools produced in the 90s, and finally to the end use parts opportunity, a $490 billion market today. The technology builds objects layer by layer, literally printing each layer of everything from auto parts to shoes, healthcare equipment, and even parts for the space shuttle. In fact, when demand for industrial and other printed parts declined last year, the industry found new products in the healthcare space, printing face masks, respirators, and even filters. It's really amazing what can actually be printed with these things, and it finally seems like the technology is coming into its own and growing beyond that futuristic hope. The applications have evolved for a breakthrough in end-use parts and produce real revenues for these companies. In fact, Kathy Wood and the team over at ARK Invest feel so strongly about the potential in 3D printing that stocks in the theme are in three of the six funds for a total investment of $658 million. And a fund of the 3D printing stocks is the second largest holding in the new ARKX Space Exploration ETF. To start our list of 3D printing stocks to research, we'll head on over to stockcard.io and the platform recently surprised us with a new look that makes navigation super easy. They're highlighting my favorite section here, these featured collections right up front, and I can click on any of these to find all the stocks and some of the biggest trends that we're following. I still like to take a look at the search too though, because if I start typing in the topic, the dropdown is going to suggest other groups of stocks here. So within 3D, then it's showing me 3D stocks in printed objects, materials, and software. It's just a great way to find stock ideas that you might not have thought about otherwise. We'll click through to the general 3D printing category and that gives me 55 stocks to start my search. I can click through and research ratios and growth potential, operations performance, and valuation, really everything I need to research a stock. I'll leave a link to Stock Card in the video description below. Don't forget to click through and follow our 2021 Bowtie Nation portfolio, up 32% already and beating the market by 25% this year. And as a special bonus, I've negotiated an exclusive discount for everyone here in the community. Use the promo code Bowtie Nation, all one word in lowercase, for an exclusive discount beyond that free trial. Now the market potential for 3D printing varies by industry, but there are a few standouts here. Just three industries, aerospace, automotive, and machinery account for a combined 400 billion of that 490 billion total addressable market. So what I want to do here is narrow our list to focusing on 3D printing stocks with a strong presence in these three industries. First up here, $1.8 billion material lease, ticker MTLS, evolving right along with the 3D printing landscape for over 30 years. Material lease is one of ARK Invest's largest single stock positions with 235 million across two funds plus held in that 3D printing ETF. The company operates across the medical, manufacturing, and software segments, helping customers manage and optimize their own printing processes. Now, like almost every company in the theme, total revenue took a hit last year, closing 13.3% lower with the biggest drop in that manufacturing segment. 
And through cost management and cash collections, though, operating cash flow actually increased. Now, revenue in the fourth quarter was up 11% from the prior quarter on a 26% jump in that manufacturing component. So there is definitely seems to be a recovery going on. The company finished last year with 111 million euros in cash, almost net cash positive against 115 million euros in debt on their balance sheet. Shares trade for about 9.2 times sales and hopefully can get back to that revenue growth this year. It's traded as high as $87.40 a share over the last year, which would be a 154% return just from here. One of the larger companies in our 3D printing stocks list, $3.2 billion 3D Systems Corporation, ticker DDD. 3D provides comprehensive printing and manufacturing solutions, including software, digital design, and on-demand manufacturing. The company replaced its CEO in May of last year to lead a strategic transformation, including refocusing on healthcare and the industrial space, selling off non-core assets, and reducing costs. 3D booked an 11.4% slide in 2020 revenue, but also saw that strong recovery in the fourth quarter, especially in the healthcare segment. It was able to shave off almost $11 million off costs by Q4 for a 16% margin improvement throughout the year. The company is cash neutral with $75 million in cash against $75 million in total debt and is a pretty solid balance sheet. Its debt to equity is lower than the industry average, and short-term assets cover liabilities by a two-to-one margin. Shares are also a little cheaper here at 5.8 times on that price-to-sales basis, with a 52-week high at $56.50 a share, 116% above the current price. From one of the largest to one of the smallest, a 3D printing penny stock, Sigma Labs, ticker SGLB, at just $30 million market cap. Sigma Labs has developed an in-process quality assurance system for the 3D industry that detects anomalies real time in the printing process. Its system works with printers from other major companies like 3D Systems to improve the quality and consistency of their printed products. The company has signed contracts with Lockheed Martin, Michigan State, and Airbus, and sales actually increased last year, though it was from a lower base. The company booked 810,000 in 2020 sales for 102% revenue growth last year. Now it's still not profitable though, Though, posting a $7 million loss in the fiscal 2020, so very much that high risk penny stock idea. And the company has four and a half million in balance sheet cash and no debt, but it does have to regularly issue shares for funding. Now, on that faster sales growth, the shares are trading for 37 times on a price to sales basis, so you are paying for that future potential growth. Another 3D printing penny stock here, though much larger than the last. $640 million X1 company, ticker XONE. And yes, even though the shares here trade for $29 each, this is still very much a penny stock. Remember, penny stocks are just those small companies under a billion dollars market cap. So at $640 million here, X1 is just a fifth the size of 3D systems, which itself isn't a large company anyway. The company sells printing machines and related services to industrial customers in aerospace, automotive, and energy, so right at that core of the 3D printing market potential. And here, revenue also actually increased last year by 11.6% with recurring revenue at 47% of the total sales. This is what I love about this company, this recurring revenue stream on those machine servicing sales, which is just going to keep on growing as more machines are sold. X1 booked a strong rebound in the fourth quarter with 18 machine sales, its best quarter in two years, and a record $39.4 million order backlog supports that future growth. Management is expecting revenue growth as high as 25% this year on that economic recovery. The company has probably the strongest balance sheet on the list, with $49.7 million in cash against just $3.4 million in debt and current assets that cover the liabilities by three times. Shares are trading here for 10.8 times on that price to sales basis, so you're paying for that growth and the financial health but this is definitely one to watch. Proto Labs, ticker PRLB, is the largest 3D printing stock in our list at $3.38 billion, though its annual sales are actually a little lower compared to 3D Systems. And whereas 3D Systems specializes in helping other companies develop and, and manage their own 3D printing, Proto Labs specializes as a source for prototyping and that on-demand production. The company has a strong presence in medical and computer electronics, though it is a little weaker in aerospace and the automotive segment at just 5% of its customer base in each of those segments. Where the company shines is in its contract manufacturing model and the ability to set up massive volume for a company's printed needs. It's able to benefit from those economies of scale to provide volume services at a lower price and well under what it would cost for a manufacturer to print its own products. Revenue was down slightly last year, falling 5% to $434 million, though the company was able to stay profitable, reporting earnings of $1.89 per share, the only 3D printing stock in our list to remain profitable. Shares trade for 7.8 times sales with a 52-week high of $286 per share, 134% above the current price. Click on the video to the right for the five artificial intelligence stocks I'm buying right now. Five stocks to protect your future.
Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.